Okay, here's an answer to some people's questions about center line spacing between parallel tracks, especially going around curves. I have done a 3D solid model. I've got a program here that does 3D solid modeling. I've created the track. I've created a 70-foot passenger car. And I've also created a Class A articulated engine. Uh, so that I can actually see the overhang of the boiler and will be able to see the clearances between the passenger car and the engine itself. So I can take and zoom out or zoom in and I can take and uh, rotate this thing into any kind of a position that I want. Okay, this is not easy for me to try to do this, but trying to operate the camera and um, do all of this at the same time. But um, anyways, whoa. Here's, you can see I've got the engine and the passenger car. I'm going to take and flip this view here to where we're now looking straight at it from the top. Okay. As you can see right here, here's our passenger car. Here's the inside overhang on this 072 curve. Now the spacing up here, the spacing up here between these two parallel tracks is 4 inches. The spacing likewise down here side to side, this is also 4 inches. I've got this track is 5 inches from this wall, okay, and it's likewise at the other end as well, okay. So let's get back to our, uh, uh, this is getting more and more difficult here, okay. So now we're back to this. Now I can take and move, I can move the passenger car around the curve just like this so that it follows the curve okay or I can take and move the locomotive you can see right here here's the overhang of the boiler and as I take and move the locomotive around this curve you can see that I've got all kinds of clearances right there with no problem at all now that's with both the inside curve being 072 and the outside track is also 072. Now, some people might sit back and say, well, geez, Rick, what about if you have it right down here where it's down to 4 inches? Well, all right. Let's take and let's move the passenger car right down here. All right. So now we've got the passenger car down there. Now let's just take and move the boiler right down there too and as you can see yes it does get closer but there is still way more than enough room of clearance there that there should be absolutely no problems at all this is the advantage of 3d solid modeling when you can actually recreate objects and do testing like this and this is the kind of thing that I've done with my layout to make sure that I've got proper clearances for anything and everything.